All right, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial. And today I wanna to talk about complex displacement maps in Substance Painter that we're gonna use ZBrush to help kind of create this result. Okay, so um, if we look at this, I can see that the height is just basically, I mean, it's, I did not change the geometry of this mesh, but I feel like at render time, it looks like obviously the face is sticking out. I mean, we can see a pretty extreme scenario here. So let's kind of talk about how that would be done. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, delete everything on here. And now we can see that we have a flat file. Um, in fact, I'll just close Substance Painter altogether. And that way it opens with default settings. And now I'm going to go into ZBrush. Okay. Now with ZBrush, I'm going to just open up this uh, demo head here. And I'm just going to give it some subdivisions uh, just so it's not so faceted. So I'm going to hit divide, divide, divide. Okay, cool. Um, now I feel like, great, I've got this uh, default head here. And if I zoom back out, okay, it's hard to see here, but I can see my canvas is square. That'll be more obvious if I go to my background and just kind of turn on the range. I can see that it's a square background. So what I'm going to need, I need that to be square, not a rectangle. I'm going to go to document and I'm going to go right here, maybe make this 1500 by 1500. Notice I turned off pro, that's constraint proportions. I'll hit resize. Hit yes, control N to clear the canvas and then just click and drag and then hit edit up here. Uh, now the important thing, I have to zoom out. Okay, I can't just zoom out like that. That's not zooming out. I have to zoom the entire canvas back. So I'm gonna go here to zoom, push that way back. And now I can kind of look at it um, and I can see, I'm gonna call this my full piece of paper. Okay, um, I could turn perspective on or off. Um, I'll leave the perspective on for now. Okay, now if I saved it like this, okay, if I just saved it like this, this is not going to work, okay? Because I feel like the um, height and depth is, it's going to be based off of white is going to be the high point and black is going to be the low point. So I feel like um, just by doing this, this is obviously, it's not going to work here. Um, so what I need to do is I need to go into the render settings. And if I go to render pass, um, I'm looking at the depth. And what the depth is going to do, is going to have anything that's closest to the camera be white and anything furthest from the camera is going to be black. So notice that when I go to render, nothing is there right now. So I have to hit BPR right here, let it think. And after it's done rendering, I don't really care what it looks like here. What I care about is this, that it gave me a depth pass. And I can see that the white is going to be the closest to the camera and black is going to be furthest from the camera. That's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I can save this. So I'm just going to go to the desktop and I'm going to call this, um, you know, face depth. And I'll save it as a Photoshop file, hit save. Now what I can do is I can go back into Substance Painter and you can see that I closed Substance Painter so I can just launch it. And um, that way I'm kind of setting, starting with default settings just like I did with a ZBrush. And now I could close that and just go right up here open sample. I'm going to go to meet mat and click open. Okay, great. Now I've got this guy here. Um, I can see that again, flat geometry right here. I'm going to go ahead and import that depth file. Okay. So if I come down here, I'm going to hit the plus sign, import resource, add resource, and I'm going to go find that um, face depth right here. I'll click open. And I'm going to just type in custom and I'm going to say it's a texture and I'm going to go here to the meat mat project. Awesome. Now if I hit import, I can see it here. The reason that I typed in custom is that if I type in custom, I can find it real easy. Okay. So anything I import, I, I kind of take it with that word. You don't have to, but, um, I like to do that. I can see that I'm on a new, a uh, clean paint layer, which is this one right here, not a fill layer, but a paint layer. And then I can simply, um, I'm gonna just double click on this and go down here and I wanna make sure that only height is on. And I'm gonna drag that into my height channel. 
And now if I go here, control right mouse click, control vertical, or control right click, and then go uh, scroll up, I can see, again, the creepy face right there, okay? And if I make this bigger, again, I'm, I, on the height, I'm gonna click once, and there it is, okay? Now you might say, well, Dave, that's not really sticking out very far, and that's true, uh, but for displacements, what I need to do is I need to come over here in the shader settings, and in the shader settings, we're gonna find two tabs right here. These are bookmarks, or I could scroll down, but if I hit this one, it's gonna take me to the uh, displacement and tessellation area, okay? And what we did is I stamped that on height so I can use this, and if I move this, you can see that that's where I'm gonna get the depth, okay? Again, super creepy. If I turn it from the side, I can see how far out it's coming. You'll notice that when I go like this, when I um, do this, the side of it gets kind of uh, screwy. So down here on tessellation, the higher that I have this tessellation, the softer and kind of smoother it's going to kind of fix that side. Okay. So maybe I bring this out like 0 0.05. Whoop. Actually, maybe farther. I mean, I could bring it way, way out, right? Um, but again, I feel like now if I rotate the lighting by holding down shift, right mouse click, I can really start to see some cool things going on here. I could just kind of play with that scale as much as I want. Um, and again, just rotate that around. It's gonna be really a convincing um, look at the depth. And I could change this to edge length, and, and you can kind of play with that to see what gives you a better result. Maybe I'll leave it at uniform, just kind of go up to the highest, there we go. Okay, excellent. So again, what I did was in ZBrush, okay, in ZBrush, I took the model, and I can't just save the image. What I needed to do is I need to hit render, BPR, then I can come up here to render, and I can grab the depth, okay? The depth, because that's going to be our relationship from white to black, and white's going to push out, black's going to push in, and then I can use that as a displacement in Substance Painter. All right, hopefully you found that awesome. Um, make sure to put any comments uh, in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you later.